Your school, your news. This is LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of eight Metro and State Awards for Broadcast Excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. Today is Wednesday, April 2nd, 2008. And here's a look at the story that's making news across your Linmar campus. Our top story, Voice is gearing up for an exciting event, and everyone is invited. Mark your calendars for Diversity Night, Friday, April 11th, from 6 to 9 p.m. in the main gym. Come join them for food, fun, and diversity. It's a great time. You won't want to miss it. Today is the last day to sign your WPA date up if that person does not attend Linmar. The sign-up sheet is in the main office. Tickets are $10 per person and $15 per couple. Tickets are available from Mr. Amit in room C110 before or after school. Tickets will also be available at the door. Remember, you and your date must have your student IDs to get into the dance. No exceptions. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. Lamar Boys Soccer is now playing at a location near you. Dates and times are posted on the web at flintmarsoccer.com. Games are free, so come and support your Linmar Lions, now playing at Armstrong Field. Welcome back. Friday is the deadline to get your spring break, favorite pet, or now and then pictures into the yearbook. See Ms. Kelly today for more information. Hurry, there is only limited space available. The Booster Club is looking for student volunteers to work concessions this Saturday. They have openings from 9 to noon and 1 to 3. See Mrs. Pache to sign up. Now Ms. Stoll joins us with the morning sports. Thanks, Danny. On the scoreboard, boys tennis fell to Iowa City West 7 to 2, and girls tennis also fell to Iowa City West 9 to nothing. On the Linmar sports scene, there will be a softball parent meeting on Wednesday, April 9th in the Upper Commons at 7 p.m. Are you interested in playing intramural dodgeball? Pick up an entry form in the attendance office or see Mr. Stryker in the PE office. Each team can consist of up to eight players. Games will be held before school in the wrestling room starting Tuesday, April 15th. See Mr. Stryker if you have any questions. Well, that's all we have for sports. Back to you, Danny. Thanks, Mistel. In news from the counselors, a rep from Simpson College will be here tomorrow at 2 p.m. in the counseling office. Are you trying to figure out what your fall schedule is? Make sure you list internship in your fall lineup deadline for internship applications. Tomorrow is the deadline. For more information on these stories, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now Tony joins us with the, this morning's arts and clubs. Thanks, Danny. On the Linmar club scene, there will be a Model UN meeting in room E133 Thursday at 6 p.m. Please see Mr. Garrels with questions. Student Council is getting ready to hold elections for next school year. Applications are now available in the main office. Everyone is welcome to apply to run for Student Council. There will be a mandatory meeting for all those running on Wednesday, April 9th at 3.15 at p.m. or on April 11th at 8.15 a.m. Spectrum will meet after school to plan the booth for the diversity event. Tomorrow morning they will be making posters for the Day of Silence. Saturday is a state GSA, that's Gay Trade Alliance, in Des Moines. They will leave at 7.15 a.m. from the Transportation Department. That's your club update. Danny, back to you. Thanks, Tony. If you know a member of last year's graduating class who has not picked up their yearbook, you might want to remind them that the books are now available in the main office. And now Mistel takes a look at lunch. Mistel? Thanks, Danny. It's the barbecue rib sandwich with corn, grapes, and pudding. The other lines will offer the corn dog bar, pizza, or chef salads. The food court opens pasta bar. Well, that's lunch. Back to you, Danny. Thanks, Mistel. And now, TV we assistant weatherman Tony Wagner joins us with today's forecast. Thanks, Danny. Uh, we're looking at a great day today. My LM2 forecast calls for sunny skies with a high of 50. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 54. And tomorrow, a 40% chance of rain with a high of 53. It's weather. Back to you. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching.
Remember, Elm TV is always online. Just go to the high school website. Join us again tomorrow. Make it a great day, Lenmar.